Well, it's listen a while unto my song, and then perhaps you'll understand what and how we have been doing since we've come from foreign land. Since we've come from foreign land. Well, the first one in it is Lord Wellington. Him who fought the battle through, twenty thousand men stood with him, all on the plains of Waterloo, all on the plains of Waterloo. And the next one in it is young Napoleon, him who from the battle did flee, left the men of the old French nation all for an isle across the sea, all for an isle across the sea. And the next one in it is Tom the Fiddler with his fiddle, hanging down at his sign, he'll play you tunes of any description, play them with the best of pride, play them with the best of pride. And the next one in is Tom the Tinker, he's got pots and kettles to mend, he'll rattle with your metal, he'll put it in good fettle, before the day is at an end, before the day is at an end. And the next one in is Bill the Beggar, all in a pair of worn out shoes, rags and patches, stitches and snatches, yet our charity he does refuse, yet our charity he does refuse. And the last one in is the King's daughter Jane, she's a beauty of great fame, but now she's engaged to a fine young man. And all the nobles cries out shame, yes, all the nobles cries out shame. Well, it's now you've listened unto my song. I hope that you understand what and how we have been doing since we've come from foreign land. Since we've come from foreign land. It's Cohen Braithwaite Kilcoin here, coming to you uh, not from the Bradford Topic Folk Club, but from the Shed. So there you go. And I thought as I'm here for you at uh, the Bradford Virtual Folk Club, I'd start, um, as you are one of my favourite Yorkshire folk clubs, I thought I'd start with a Yorkshire song. So that was a song called the Ripon Sword Dance Song, traditionally sung up in Ripon around uh, New Year's Day. Um, so that was a song called the Rip and Sword Dance Song, which comes from my first solo album, which was called Outway Songster. And I've had um, a few projects on over lockdown, and uh, one of them was making a follow-up to that album, um, which uh, that, that my newest solo album came out um, in March, so quite recently, and it's called Rakes and Misfits. And I'm going to sing a few songs and play a few tunes off that over the course of the next 40 minutes or so. So... Here's um here's a song off it which is called The Jolly Highwayman. It 
It's all the jolly highwayman, likewise a noted rover. I fairly drove me parents wild when first I went to roving. I've robbed the rich, I've robbed the great in a very rankish manner. Not only to maintain myself, likewise me own dear mother. Well, the very first man that I did rob, being the Lord of Honor, I did abuse this mighty Lord in a very rankish manner. Deliver your money, kind sir, says I, without no more desire. For if you don't, it's my delight with powder shot to fire. I put me pistols to his breast, which made him for to shiver. A hundred guineas all in bright gold. To me he did deliver And besides a gold repeater watch To me he did surrender I thought I had a noble prize For such a small endeavour With a hundred guineas all in bright gold I brought a famous gelding He could jump over the turnpike gate I brought it from it fielding Now mounted on me gallant steed Looking brave and daring Resolved all on the road I should go No man I ever should fear But the very next man that I did rob Down in Covent Garden not long after he was robbed in Newgate, I was fastened. I've robbed lords, robbed earls of silver plate and money, not only to maintain myself, likewise me own dear Polly. But now in Newgate cells I lie until I am convicted. For me sorrow I mercy crave, for I am sore afflicted to hear the turnkeys locks and bolts at six o'clock in the morning so under new gate i must drop fare thee well me companions Thank you. That was The Jolly Highwayman, and that comes, as I say, from my brand new solo album, which is called Rakes and Misfits. And here it is, Rakes and Misfits. Copies of that available from my Bandcamp page and from the website grannysattic.org.uk forward slash shop. And there will be some links down below about uh, how to get hold of those. And the new album, Rakes and Misfits, it's kind of exactly what it says on the tin. It's uh, a, s a selection of tracks, songs and tunes about people that, uh, you know, live maybe outside of society, wherever they be, you know, criminal outcasts, people that don't quite fit in, people that take an alternate approach to things like romance. Um, and I think that, that last song, The Jolly Home, and that falls firmly into the rakes category. This next one um, is a song, another one from the album, called The New Deserter. And I think the character in this song could uh, perhaps fit into either category. I'll leave you, leave you to make your minds up on, uh, on which one it is. So yes, this is The New Deserter, a traditional song that comes from Henry Burstow down in uh, Sussex, down in Horsham, who was a, a prolific traditional singer um, at the turn of the 20th century, had a repertoire of over 420 songs, which is quite astounding. And um, yeah, this is, this is one of the songs that he sang, and it's called The New Deserter. <laughs> Young farmer and 
Johnny is my name In Oxfordshire I lived When I followed my team My friends they turned against me They forced me to go To seek a new master Which proved my woe When I came to the statutes in grief and despair who should I meet but my sergeant was there he asked me and enlisted me he did tell me so and it's to the king's barracks I was forced to go it's a last and alas, and oh, what sad cruelty! For it's all the king's duty lies heavy on me. Well, the first time I deserted, I thought myself free. Informed on by my comrade, a deserter to be. I was quickly followed after, brought back with speed. I was handcuffed and shackled, heavy ironed indeed. Court martial, court martial, court martial was then. The sentence they gave me a hundred and ten. Thence to the guard's house on a straw bed I did lie. And thence to the hellbard the very next day. It's alas and alas. And oh, what sad cruelty! For it's all the king's duty lies heavy on me. Well, the next time I deserted, I thought myself free. Informed on by my sweetheart, a deserter to be. I was quickly followed after and brought back with speed. I was handcuffed and shackled, heavy ironed indeed. Court martial, court martial, court martial was God. The sentence they gave me, I had to be shot. But then up drives the Duke of York, all in a coach and six. And he said, Bring me out that young man whose hellbard is fixed. Put his hand in his pocket, he drew out. Ten pound said, Take this, my young man, and go your way home. Take this, my young man, goodbye unto thee. For it's no more the king's duty lies heavy on thee. It's alas. And alas, and oh, what sad cruelty! For it's all the king's duty lies heavy on thee. But it's no more the king's duty lies heavy on me.
That was the new deserter. Now, one of the few advantages of doing these online gigs rather than uh, doing what I'd much prefer to do, which is come to do gigs in person, um, is that one of the advantages of doing it online is that I can bring as many squeeze boxes as I want. Normally, I'm sort of... I do all of my travel by train, so normally I'm uh, constrained by the number of instruments I'm able to uh, to fit in my suitcase. But uh, nope, I've I've instead gone into my uh, into my room and sort of grabbed an armful of squeeze boxes to uh, to share with you tonight. And uh, this is this is another one of them. This is a single row melodeon um, that I I built myself. Well, I say I built it myself. I went across to um to the workshop of a chap called Emmanuel Paracel, who's a melodeon builder. Um, lives in France, and I went across to his workshop in January last year, um, and sort of he guided me into a uh, into building a melodeon with him. You know, I I expected that uh, he would just be watching and and giving faithful tips and leaving all the heavy work to me, whereas in fact it was kind of kind of the opposite way. I kind of watched him doing a lot of the the uh, the heavy work. I think the most powerful tool he let me use myself was a piece of a uh, thirty grit sandpaper. So uh, there you go. But anyway, I came out the other end of that week with this this lovely little melodeon, um, and I'm going to do a couple of things on it now. Um, and the first one is a, a traditional song called Strawberry Lane, and it comes from uh, the Elfin Knight family of, of traditional ballads. I think the best known example of a ballad from that family is uh, Scarborough Fair, and I'm sure if you listen carefully you'll hear some very similar verses to Scarborough Fair. Um, but this particular version comes from Somerset, comes from uh, just outside Taunton, and it was uh, collected by Cecil Sharp. So this is Strawberry Lane. As I was a walking up Strawberry Lane, sing I believe sweet William and time I chance for to meet with a pretty fair maid. She wanted to be a true lover of mine Say can you make me a cambric shirt Sing I believe sweet William and time Without any needle or needle work Then you shall be a true lover of mine Yes if you're washing and you're well Sing I believe sweet William and time When neither spring water nor rain never fell shall be a true lover of mine then will you hang it on yonder thorn sing i believe sweet william and time which never bore blossom since adam was born then you shall be a true lover of mine William and time between the salt sea and the salt sea strand, then you shall be a true lover of mine. Yes, if you're ploughing it with a ram's horn, sing I believe sweet William and time, arrow all over with a peppercorn, then you shall be a true lover of mine. William and time, arrow away with a peacock's feather, then you shall be a true lover of mine. Yes, if you would gather it up in a sack, sing I believe, sweet William and time, arrow away on a peacock's back, then you shall be a true lover of mine. As I was a walking up strawberry lane, sing I believe, sweet William and time. A chance for to meet with a pretty fair maid. She wanted to be a true lover of
was a, a tune called The Knitting Granny. And uh, that was, uh, well, I've, I've talked a little bit about my new solo album, Rakes and Misfits. And the way that I sort of raised funds for uh, Rakes and Misfits was to do a little crowdfunder so people could sort of contribute a bit of money in varying amounts and get various different rewards from things like pre-release copies of the albums up through lessons up through up to right at the top tier was um i'd come and do a gig in people's house which uh, i'm sure i will get to do one day um but somewhere in the middle there was a uh, a little reward whereby people could commission me to write a tune and that's a tune that i wrote um for someone that commissioned it it's a uh, as i say called the knitting the knitting granny which was a uh, the person's requested name as a sort of a it was a commemoration for for the person's wife who is a uh, an enthusiastic keen knitter And in fact, there uh, there was such an enthusiastic king knitter that um, they they made me this this little uh, knitted monkey friend as a sort of a thank you for writing that tune. So there you go. This is a uh, this is my little friend Dave. So I've had a uh, a few other projects through lockdown, and one of them um, at the start of the first lockdown was uh, putting the finishing touches to this book here. This is a, a book called Southern Songster, and it's a uh, a book of a of hundred or so previously unpublished songs from the Hammond and Gardner manuscripts. Now, some of you be, may be familiar with the book series that started with Marabones that the EFDSS published back in, I think, the 1960s um, of songs from the Hammond and Gardner manuscripts. So this is sort of part five in that series. As I say, a hundred or so previously unpublished songs from the south of England. Um, and you can get that as well from uh, from the Granny's Attic shop and the Bandcamp page links in the... Uh, down below and um and yeah i'm gonna sing a song now f that comes from this book it's a song that was uh perhaps made famous in another version by uh, the great nick jones but i'm gonna do a very un nick jones version with a uh, a different tune that uh, as i say comes from southern songster and um southern songster the uh, the overall project took uh, nearly two years to do and uh, one of the reasons was because uh, the Hammond and Gardner manuscripts in some places are not in the best of conditions. And my job was to do the musical transcriptions. So, you know, to, to copy out the manuscripts into modern day notation. Um, and in the case of this tune, there were, I think, three or four bars missing. So uh, what I'm about to sing now is sort of my estimation of how the tune may go. I had to sort of guess how th the three or four missing bars went. So listen out for that. Hopefully you won't be able to hear the joins. But this is Canada I.O. from Southern Songster. Never see that 
a hitsy place called Canada, I So she stepped up the Victor Captain and done to him did say, Here's five a hundred guineas, all a hunt to you I'll pay. If you will spare me life, sir, and let me with you go until we reach that pretty place called Canada Royal. Called Canada So then up spoke the captain, for a gallant man was he. He says, if you drown this fair maid, I'll hang it, you shall be. So I'll dress her up in sailor's clothes, and with us she will go. Until we reach that pretty place called Canada Royal. Will they not be in Canada, but the space of half a year? Before the captain's married her, and he's called her his own dear. She's dressed in silks and satins now, and she cuts a gallant show. She's one of the finest ladies down in Canada Royal. In Canada Royal, in Canada Royal, and she's one of the So come all of you young fair maids, wherever that you be, and follow up your own true love when he's bound away to sea. For if he do prove false to you, the captain won't do so, and you'll be a captain's lady down in Canada Royal. So there you go. That was Canada I.O. from Southern Songster. And at this point in time, I've got uh, I've got time for a few more songs. But at this point, I'd like to just say a huge, huge thank you to the people at the uh, Topic Folk Club for sort of inviting me to do this and uh, providing the facilities for me to uh, do this this online concert for you. Um, I really, really do appreciate it at this time when so much of my work has just vanished that. Uh, there are places like the topic that are, you know, helping to support musicians through uh, this this challenging time. Um, and if you if you like to support um, what I am and what I do, there will be a link to a a PayPal tip jar down in the description. And so if you uh, if you have the facilities to, um, please consider chucking a couple of coins in there for me. It really really does help. And of course, as I've mentioned, I've got various things for sale on my website grannysattic.org.uk forward slash shop. And also on my Bandcamp page, links to both in the descriptions. We've got copies of the new Rakes and Misfits solo album that I made that was released a couple of months ago, along with my previous solo album, Outway Songster, as well as the various Granny's Attic albums and the new Southern Songster songbook. And on my Bandcamp page, I've also got a selection of concertina-themed merch. I've got, um, well, 
the uh, the designer of my new album, Rosie Hood, she put together these lovely little pan made prints that are um, of my concertina, my uh, Jeffrey's concertina, and uh, these are limited edition, and I think there's four of them left at the time of recording. So get in there quick if you think you might like one of those. And I also have other sort of smaller merch with that similar design on. I've got postcards and badges and stickers and also these wonderful tote bags so you can sort of parade your love of concertinas around when you go to do your shopping. So there you go. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's on the Bandcamp page is the merch. And uh, that's, that's the plugs out the way. I'll do another song for you. This is another one off the new album and it's called The Broken Down Gentleman. When I was young and in me prime, about 24 years old, I spent me time in vanity along with the ladies so bold. With silver buckles around me wrist and a cane all in me hand, no gentleman could me surpass, no farmer in the land, no farmer in the land. Kept a pack of good hounds, me boys and servants waiting on me. I did intend me money to spend, and that you shall plainly see. I kept a coat and six bay horses with hangers all about, with a golden saddle on each horse's back, ready to ride out, just ready to ride out. I took me coach and six bay horses, the race is for to see. It's there I spent ten thousand pounds, and that was the ruin of me. As I was turning home again, me purse it did run small. It's there I became a broken down gentleman, that's the worst of it all. And that's the worst of it all. So then the landlord seized my lands and bailiffs he brought three. They took away all I had got, they swore that they would take me. Me wife at home she does lament and the children round to cry. To think that I should lie in jail until the day that I die. Until the day that I die. For to think that I should lie in jail. Till the day that I die, until the day that I die.
Well, that was the Worcester farewell, and it's uh, nearly time for me to say farewell. I've got time for one more song, so I'll leave you with this next one. And it's another one with a Worcester connection, in fact. Uh, it's a song that comes from the repertoire of Vesta Tilly, who was a, uh, a famous music hall performer and a male impersonator at uh, the turn of the 20th century. And uh, Vesta Tilly was born in Worcester, and uh, I lived in Worcester for about 15 years. And uh, the first house that we lived in in Worcester was actually all of about 100 yards away from the place that Vesta Tilly was born. And uh, without realising it, I made several trips to Vesta Tilly's birthplace because uh, the house she was born in actually became our local Indian takeaway. So there you go. Um, and yes, this is a song from Ves Vesta Tilly's repertoire called From Marble Arch to Leicester Square. And uh, before I play it, I'd just like to say a huge thank you again to you all for watching and a huge thank you to uh, everyone at the Bradford Topic Folk Club for, uh, for inviting me to do this and providing the means to do it. And I'm uh, hoping that I'll be able to make a trip across to Bradford before too long and hopefully see a lot of you in person. Um, but yes, I've been Cohen Braithwaite Kilcoin. You can keep up with what I'm doing on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And I've got a mailing list as well. And uh, as I say, Tip Jar will be down in the description along with links to my Bandcamp and my Granny's Attic website shop um, where you can get albums and books and tote bags and prints and badges and postcards and stickers and all sorts of wonderful things. So there you go. Um, this is, yes, from Marble Arch to Leicester Square, another one off the new Rakes and Misfits album. <laughs> Never the one to boast about the aristocrats I know. In fact, I should be disgraced for showing such beastly taste. If ever I see a lord or earl, I'll pass serenely by. It isn't because I'm vain or proud, I'll tell you the reason why. Since I've come down from Oxford, I've been aiming at higher things. And now among my friends I number princes and dukes and kings. I know the Prince of Monaco, he's a bosom friend of mine. I've had cigars and ginger ales with the Duke of Baden-Baden and the Prince of Wales. I know the Emperor of Japan, I've met the King of Spain, I do declare. In fact, I know every public house from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. Whenever a noble lord goes down to open a church bazaar, they greet him in regal state, as if he was someone great. Supposing he condescends to shake the hand of someone there, the Johnny whose hand he shook refrains from washing it for a year. I've never opened church bazaars, it's awful in for dig, but I'm nearly always present when they're closing the old blue pig. I know the Prince of Monaco, he's a bosom friend of mine. I've had cigars and ginger ales with the Duke of Baden-Baden and the Prince of Wales. I know the Emperor of Japan, I've met the King of Spain, I do declare. In fact, I know every public house, from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. Painter, they say, was just the same as when he was old as me. He used to drink quarts of sham with the fellow who ruled Siam. They say that with the Duke of York, his friendship was sublime. He'd stop at the house each morning, yet stay there till closing time. 
I like to do what father did whenever the Duke's about. I was there just after daybreak, they've only just thrown me out. I know the Prince of Monaco, he's a bosom friend of mine. I've had sick eyes and ginger ales with the Duke of Baden Baden and the Prince. Of Wales, I know the Emperor of Japan. I've met the King of Spain. I do declare, in fact, I know every public house from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. I know the Prince of Monaco. He's a bosom friend. Cigars and ginger ales with the Duke of Baden Baden and the Prince of Wales. I know the Emperor of Japan. I've met the King of Spain, I do declare. In fact, I know every public house from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. In fact, I know every public house from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. And yes, I know every public house from Marble Arch to Leicester Square. Thank you very much. Good night.